Guard is the guy in charge of bigging up the service. He explained in a nutshell why Xbox Live should be getting our pulses racing. The Xbox is the only game console that was designed with online gaming in mind. We have built in a hard disk, an ethernet or broadband connection, and all the Xbox controllers have a slot that allows you to plug in the Xbox communicator, which will allow you to talk to your friends, which brings all of the Xboxes in the world together in the most exciting arena ever created for gamers. That's all very well, but Microsoft want your cash. You can't just plug into your ISDN port. For Xbox Live, you have to subscribe to the whole service, hook, line and sinker. To explain what you get for your money, head of UK Xbox marketing, Richard Teversham. So when you're actually going into a game, it will say single player, multiplayer or online. So you click on that and then you're competing online. You've got to have great games. And what we're, we've got here is games like our Unreal Championship, we've got Fantasy Online, we've got Galaxies, we've got Counter-Strike, which are all going to come to the Xbox Live service. And thirdly, you've got to be secure. So we've actually opened up um, military-grade security data centers in Japan, Seattle, and London, because you've got to make sure that it can't be hacked into. And they're the three guiding factors around Xbox Live. And it can't. There's no doubting how serious Microsoft are about delivering this latest blow in the next-gen battle. And the package certainly has some very tempting features. Well, the Xbox Communicator basically is a headset which you plug into your controller. So you're actually communicating across broadband, playing games across the globe. If, let's say, there's a football game, where players are online on the same team. You can say, over here, pass it over here, and then the guy can do it. So it's going to bring open new doors, new avenues of gameplay. Where are you from? Oh, Wisconsin. Oh as far as we're concerned, we're even better than this cheesy yeah. promo video is the communicator's voice disguise, essential if you're from Wisconsin. I'm ready to play Xbox Live. 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 Gamepad. I'm Violet Berlin and you're watching Gamepad. Faster, harder, better, stronger. Which just about sums up Gamepad the website as well. Whatever hardware you use to get online, come and have a game with us. On us. We've got dedicated servers and all the games you need can be accessed via our homepage. We've made the effort, so why don't you? In fact, it would be rude not to. Remember this bravo.co.uk slash gamepad Fighting games are battling over the same patch at the moment. The beat-em-up market is pretty much saturated, but now a new heavy hitter has entered the ring. Enter Tekken 4. Converted from the arcade game, surely no easy task, Tekken 4 is another stage in the evolution of what many consider to be the greatest fighting series of all time. But this latest sequel seems to have stirred up mixed feelings among fans. Some have hailed it as a knockout, whilst others have said the series hasn't got the legs to take it any further. It's certainly pretty, and as you might expect, Tekken 4 adds more characters, like new girl Christy, although she does simply do the same moves as former character Eddie, and wrestler Craig. Where do they get these names from? Plus, more stages and more moves. But what else is there? Well, pink cat suits for a start. The battles are set in various 3D arenas, but it plays just the same as always. One button controls each fist or foot. Or paw, in the case of Panda here. But there are new modes, like the one where instead of hanging out in one place and hitting people, you walk along and do the hitting instead. Personally, I've never got on with the scrolling beat em up, or strolling beat em up, as I prefer to think of them. But it does add variety. And some silly names for the extras. Yes, I'm talking about you, Hawk Raiders numbers two, three, and four. For some.
some people, it really brings them back to the days of Double Dragon. Round. Fight. Ah, Yoshimitsu. We've been expecting you. If you know a character from the other Tekken games, they'll still retain some of the old moves, but add new ones, which just about sums up Tekken 4. It ain't revolutionary, but it's still Tekken. And for a series that sold nearly 6 million PAL copies alone, that's got to be a popular move. You win. Thank you for joining me in my gamepad today. Come back next time and this is what you'll get. Red Faction is back. And so is new, improved geomodding, the technology that lets you really make an impact on the game's environment. Uh, geomodding allows you to solve problems in ways that you couldn't solve problems before. We used it in Red Faction 1, we'll continue to use it in Red Faction 2. Plus, all the players, all the teams and the official licence. FIFA Football 2003 is going to do what all the FIFA Soccers did before it and sell like overpriced replica team strip. But we'll let you know if it's a must-have or an extravagance. All that and more on the next gamepad. I'll leave you now though with some eye candy from the big shiny rally game Shocks. I was Violet Berlin. Don't forget to wipe your feet on the way out.